Hello there. My name is Michael Searle and I'm the director of MJS Computers in Berkeley. And what I'd like to quickly address is a problem that many of our customers are facing. Is my Mac now completely obsolete? Is it worth spending any money on at all now? The problem has arisen because Apple only natively support three operating systems from the current one which is Big Sur, back to three. So we've got Big Sur, Catalina, and Mojave. A whole swathe of older Macs natively will only support High Sierra. So this being the case, is it worth spending any money on my Mac, or is it time to buy a new one? Well, in our opinion, it seems that this is a ploy by Apple to make you go and spend two and a half grand, three thousand pound on a new machine. When really, with just a little bit of time, money and effort, we can get older machines working very, very well and they can fully support even the latest operating systems like Catalina and Big Sur. Let me show you one of our office computers. Here we have an iMac 27 inch from 2011. It has been upgraded with a solid state drive which is much faster than the old mechanical hard drives they came with. Also via Apple this Mac will only upgrade to High Sierra. Let's turn it on and have a look and note how quickly it starts up. So it's switched on, we'll click on the hard drive, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Really quick boot time there, we'll just log in and we'll look at a few things which are commonly used. So if you know your onions, you can see there that the, from the background picture that we're using Catalina on this machine. So how does it perform? Well, Microsoft Word, something which has been removed from the High Sierra App Store, is now working fine. Open up a blank document, really quick, really snappy. Hardware acceleration is all enabled there. And it's working great, so you can type all your letters as much as you want. What's it like on the internet? Well again, let's have a look at Safari, make it go full page, and let's check out YouTube. So let's look at a 4K video. And there you go. As you can see from this, I'll just turn that down a bit. It's perfectly cap capable of playing a full HD film there. So in conclusion, there is no reason at all why you can't continue to use your vintage computer, as Apple calls them, for at least another few years. If it's running slow or you're having problems because of the limitations of High Sierra, why don't you give MJS computers a call? And we'll discuss with you what various options are available. Thanks very much for your time. We really hope that this helps and we look forward to helping you.